<laughs> when I was about 16, I had this class with this really beautiful teacher. She had some really big knockers. And her butt looked like you just wanted to lick it, if you know what I'm saying. I think I still love her to today. Anyways, I was a stupid little kid. And one day she kept me out of school. And she says, so have you been a bad boy as I'm doing my work? And I just put my head up and I look at her and I says, what? And she pulls her dress up. Well, I can see her knickers. Anyways, I pitch in my tent, of course. And I says, I, I've been trying to be a good boy. And she says, won't you tell me about how bad of a boy you've been? As her finger goes up her body and starts touching on her boobies. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I splooged all over myself. And I just ran out of the room. Anyways, I didn't show up for class for like a week after that. Thinking back on it now though, I feel like a big homo because my teacher, she was just trying to help me, you know, by letting me, you know, experience, you know, boning her out, you know. But I was too young and stupid and I didn't know. I'm so sorry, Miss Teacher. So to my teacher, who I didn't bone at one time and I avoided the rest of the year, I'm really sorry. I will still bone you even though you're about 50 or 60 years old now. If you hear this, let's definitely meet again. This whole story all started on Omegle. Some beautiful girl had messaged me, said her name was Brooke, and she sent me some pictures, and her butt looked like Jennifer Lopez. I gotta be honest, I fapped all day to her pictures. She said she wanted to meet me and gave me the address to her house. But I'm only a skinny 18 year old boy and I was scared. Something didn't feel right but she sent more pictures and I had to meet her. So I went alone but it wasn't her house. It was an old abandoned building and I walk in the building. I walk in the first door I see but it turns out Brooke wasn't in there. It was a big scary man. As soon as I saw him, I tried to run, but he caught me before I could leave. And he threw me on a table, threw me on my stomach. He bent me over and he pulled down my pants. But right then, a security guard showed up and saved me. The security guard said to the crazy guy on me, you get off of him. What are you up to? So, if it wasn't for that security guard, I don't know what would have happened. I probably would have got raped. So, mister, bend me over and pull my pants down, man. Let's never meet again. One time when I was a little kid, I had major psychological problems because I was in the playground one time playing and a bigger kid spit right in my mouth and it was very traumatic to me, you know. Anyways, this is an update to that story and I would just like to let everyone know that the man who spit in my face, I had sex with his sister a couple years later. Oh, and she was a white girl and she was so pretty. Oh my god, I still remember. Anyways, Mr. Jungle Jim spit in my face, man. I got the last laugh because I had sex with your sister and I didn't pull out either. But some she didn't get pregnant though, but I wish she would have. But that would have been an even bigger burn on you. So we can meet again if you want. I don't even care. Whatever. <laughs>